Hello and welcome back to Women Making Herstory. I am Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, and we're bringing you this series of 31 extraordinary visionary women in celebration of Women's History Month. And today's conversation and today's guest is going to take us to some place that is so impactful as we think about women's history. I'd like to introduce you to Laura Goldstein. Hello, Laura. Thank you for being with us today. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited about the conversation. Me too. Me too. And uh, you are certainly a woman making her story. So let me share with our audience a little bit about your background. Uh, Laura Goldstein is known as the expert diagnoser. She is a professional psychic, past life expert, psychotherapist, spiritual teacher, believer in the healing forces of nature, an alchemist, an alchemist adventurer, and hopeless fan of House Hunters International. I love that too. I'm such a voyeur. I love it. It's so good, right? Awesome. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about how that plays into visioning at some point. <laughs> Um, so, so Lore helps professionals and business owners move past anxiety, self-sabotaging behaviors, and overall unfulfillment through her powerful gift of quickly uncovering the root cause of why their life or their business or career isn't working the way they would love it to work. Lore's craft allows her to dig up the unseen so that her clients can quickly and efficiently move forward saving both time and money on solutions that don't work. So get in touch with her. She's magic. <laughs> so hi, I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so today, today's, this is women's history month. We've been um, blessed with extraordinary women sharing about their story and their journey. And today's topic, I definitely want you to share on that. Um, and you have something really unique and valuable to bring to this conversation. And it's about how women's history in total impacts the woman I am right now. Mm -hmm. So speak to yeah. that a little bit for us. Well, the, the way that um, I got to appreciate women's history and uh, the women that I'm going to talk a little bit about today is because of my work, part of what I need to do with my clients is to look at the past light journey. I mean, essentially looking at their past lives is how I garnish information about what they're struggling with, why they're experiencing what they are. And it didn't really dawn on me until I started doing this work that I realized the victimization energy that women currently hold in this lifetime. And this is because if you think about it, it wasn't too long ago that women really had no rights. I mean, yeah. we were the property of men. We were the property of our parents before we were the property of a man. We didn't have the right to vote. We didn't even have the right to have a bank account. And when we are stuck in negative situations because of what society or the time period dictates for us, that energy is just perpetuated from lifetime to lifetime. So I had this aha moment as I kept tracking like victimization and anxiety and disempowerment. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense mm -hmm. because it wasn't really until maybe what, 20 years ago, if then I was a horrible history student, that we could actually, you know, have the power of choice. So yeah. that's kind of how I got into this whole thing and, and really honoring the women who fought for women's rights. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I want to go there in just a moment, because uh, those are some of the women that have impacted me as well. And I want to speak to how we're born into this life. All right, so disclosure, I was born in 1960. And at the time I was born, it, there, my mother could not get a credit card of her own without my father signing off on it. And then she got divorced from my father. And so what's interesting is as we've progressed, 
and women have more and more rights, what I, what I think is now coming to the forefront, which will give us greater power and strength and clarity to move forward, is that past conditioning between society and our parents and, and all of that that came before, if it impacted my mother, and my mother's DNA and mine are connected through my DNA, her DNA passed on to me. It's in my cellular beingness, mm-hmm. right? It is, it is. And two, from an energetic perspective, um, you know, the, the way that like karma works and making a choice and having a consequence, it's really an energetic form and your, your cellular memory stores energy. So you may not consciously remember, hey, you know, 10 lifetimes ago, I was, you know, enslaved to somebody and I was part of this harem um, and I, I couldn't even leave the compound your your body from an energetic perspective your cells still remember that journey and mm-hmm. it sounds a little complicated maybe it is because it's kind of like you can't exactly see it but it does exist like you were saying that dna and yeah, it's in cellular there. memory yeah it's in there yeah so so it would make sense then with you as the expert diagnoser when you work with a client uh and you listen and you hear this repetitive pattern you say, Oh, I really want this. I want to have an amazing loving relationship and I keep attracting jerks. I want to be wealthy and free and go on buy all those house hunter houses, but I just seem, I can't get out of this rat race. Right? So you know, sitting here today, someone would be in a state of, you know, bewilderment, like why? <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And trying so many different things. So talk a little bit about the process when you're working with clients. And I'd also like to know how this came to be your work and your history that you're creating. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> I'll talk about my, like how I came into this work. Cause I already forgot the first question you asked me That's two perfect. questions. I was like, Oh, it's a new <laughs> question. <laughs> you know, it was, it was through divine intervention, actually, because I was doing traditional psychotherapy with people. And I knew that I had the gift of helping people process their experiences and really transform their being. Uh, but I found psychotherapy to be a little bit tedious for me. It took a long time. Um, my clients were, were sharing things with me. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of sort of it. But I knew that it was something deeper. And I just kept asking for guidance. I I always knew that I was different. I just didn't know what it was or how to use it. And really, uh, the right mentors fell into place at the time that I was actually ready to step into it. Because it took a while to get over myself. I'm like, oh, I'm a licensed psychotherapist and I've had all this training and blah, blah, blah. And then, oh, by the way, you have this psychic ability to read souls and help people understand why they're experiencing what they are from a past life perspective. And it was like, Oh, what? Yeah, it makes so much sense. But I was like, how can I tell people now that I have, you know, this woo stuff going on because I'm a psychotherapist? And <laughs> well, you had that, that, whole, that whole conversation or contrast between science and spirituality, too. Yeah. Because psychotherapy is very science based, right? And it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and I, it, it's timing. It's really timing. And, 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 um, I just want to add that when we speak about cellular memory, DNA passing on and passing on, that is science, my friends. It actually mm-hmm. is science. <laughs> it is. It is. And if you think about it, here's how it, how it works. And this is like super interesting. We incarnate into families where there is a resonance to us. So when I have clients that are like, you know, why was I born into this family with all this childhood dysfunction? And, you know, maybe there was an abusive parent. They're like, am I being punished in this lifetime? It's like, no. But that is a a huge sign to me that somewhere in the past, they experienced that same thing. It's like stored in their memory. So when they incarnate, they know exactly what to expect. It doesn't mean that it's healthy or happy or productive. It's just like, oh, I remember this from past experiences. I know how to navigate it. Um, so here I am mm. going to try and, you know, figure it out again. And then so talk the- about remembering. Right. 
Right, remembering. And, and the work that I do with neurolinguistic programming follows a similar path. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I get it. And what I see happen with people and what you've shared with me about the work that you do is it is truly, finally liberating when you get to that root cause. It is. It's so empowering because awareness is key. The second you're aware, it's like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Now I'm conscious as to what not to do anymore. Mm -hmm. And then the other part of that is, you know, what am I going to replace that with? Let me figure out a new and approved action, thought, belief, whatever it is to take. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So let's talk about the women in history, because I know you have a few you want to talk about today, um, who've inspired or influenced you. Yes. Yeah, so if you're, if you're looking for me to go into an account into exactly what they did, you'll be sorely disappointed because I was like the <laughs> epic C minus history student. No, no, no. Um, yeah. but, the, <laughs> but the women I'm talking about, um, like Susan B. Anthony, um, the, the women that fought for women's rights, so it was that whole suffrage movement. Mm -hmm. And there is a certain courage and bravery that these women demonstrated in order to really fight a man's society. And it wasn't easy. I, you know, talk about sacrificing relationships, um, sacrificing well-being. A lot of them were arrested and imprisoned for wanting the right to vote, mm -hmm. uh, for wanting the right to choose a relationship. So it's really about um, like that courage and that honor that I'm not even sure that I would have at that time to have done what they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? yeah and and as you're talking, you talked earlier about making your shift from being a licensed psychotherapist, and now you're going to talk about this woo-woo stuff, as it were, that lots of people would label it as woo-woo stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That takes courage as well. It does. And it's funny how we don't recognize that in ourselves. Yes. You know, we don't I, wanna, uh, I, I see it own in so I wanna, I wanna think. Tell you, you you acknowledge yourself because do making that shift from the traditional model of your career and how you're gonna show up to embracing all the gifts that you've been given to serve and help people, um, that takes courage and, and so I honor you and I thank you for doing so. Thank you. And I accept that. I'm, it's a process, too, to learn to accept that, too. It's like once that energy is recognized, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to own that as yeah. well. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're welcome. And I think it, it ties into like part of what this series is all about is each and every one of us recognizing how amazing we are in the little things, the medium sized things and the big things we do, because mm -hmm. as you be as you are a stand for another human being um, to be healed of what's been troubling them and, and be that expert diagnoser and get them on that path. As you are a stand for embracing all of your gifts and talents, even though you might get ridiculed, people might say you're crazy, you're setting a pace for the and making it easier for the next person to do that. Yeah, and it is scary. I think it's scary in general to be authentically who you are because nobody wants to um, be made to feel like they're not good enough or, hey, who you are isn't you know, good for this or you won't be able to do that. So I think just even stepping into our inner authority and, and who we truly are triggers a lot of anxiety and fear. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All right. So um, thank you. I loved our conversation and I trust that our viewers did too. And you took away some great insights for yourself. Uh, I want to encourage you to get in touch with Laura and she's got a way for you to do that and a free gift for you as well. Tell our audience about the free gift. 
right now I am actually focusing on anxiety. Anxiety is something that is increasingly on the rise, especially for women. And um, I am offering a free masterclass. So you can go on my website, soulwisdomlore.com. And, and, and um, the link right down here, right below the video. Oh, perfect. You know, nice and easy for everybody. Perfect, perfect. So you can watch the masterclass. It's going to give you some insight as to how to get rid of anxiety from a mind, body, and soul perspective. A lot of valuable information in there uh, because I, I feel strongly that part of stepping into our power as a woman is to not be plagued with anxiety and worry and some of this stuff that, that just follows us from past life crap. Um, so yeah, so watch the masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. So just click on the link below. Um, and do yourself the favor of watching the masterclass. I've, I've seen it. I've benefited from it uh, because I'm not immune to feelings of anxiety, mm -hmm. you know? So, so I need tools when stuff shows up. I go, oh, okay, that's what that is. And then mm -hmm. releasing and just work, you know, we're, we're all, for me, I know I'm in a continuous process of unfoldment back to the pure, beautiful bliss I was born as. <laughs> I like that. My language is restoring your divine soul blueprint, like how you were created as soul. There blueprint. you it's go. The same thing. It's it, totally the same thing. Correct. Correct. I like that. We'll, we'll, we'll have to interchange. So um, that's great. All right. Well, Laura, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing your wisdom and your insights and being an amazing woman making history. Thank you. And likewise, thank you for putting this together. This is really awesome. Yeah, my, my absolute pleasure and purpose. And to all our viewers, uh, be sure to check your inbox. There'll be another video coming your way. With an, um, you've seen some of them already. There's so many. Each and every woman in the series um, fills my heart, my spirit, and my soul, and my mind with goodness for me to continue making her straight. And I know that's happening for you too. So join us, check your inbox. And if you haven't yet, click on that button below that says join the movement because we need your voice. Women's Prosperity Network is here to give a platform to your voice and a community for your expansion, connections, and collaboration. So get the gift from Lore. Click the join now button and we'll see you next time. Have a beautiful, delightful day. Bye, Laura. Bye.